when you seriously study homeopathic materia medica with the help of practice of medicine, I can assure you that you will see the our oldest materia medica is, is still competent enough to look after all the problems which we are facing and we are waiting as well as. We have got preventive capacity with our medicine that the unknown disease is going to be developed as an epidemic disease. The scientific, most scientific medicine, they are going to search their medicine after a good amount, good length of the time when the suffering humanity, humanity is going to be die, 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 but their search is not going to complete by to get one single disease medicine. When the strength of the disease like acute is going to be gradually lost, then we, they will get the medicine. But most fortunate part of homeopathic system of medicine that we have got our so rich materia medica after the understanding of genus epidemicus few cases we learn that these are the symptomatology which in favor of euphoresia in favor of any other medicine and we just apply our knowledge our rich homeopathic materia medica to save this suffering humanity. Why? Because our homeopathic medicine is a witness of all the diseases known to me, known after me. It is the most unfortunate part of me as a homeopathic physician, as a homeopathic student, that we are not going to deeply study and recognize the depth of our homeopathic materia medica. It is my humble suggestion to all of you that please go through the, I am insisting still to the materia medica pura. Then after that I will show you this, these books. But the fountain head is the fountain head. And in fountain head you will get, this sometimes is very difficult to learn, study. I agree with you. So now you are able to understand <coughs> our depth of the homeopathic materia medica, how they are. You know that there are many diseases which are known to the new diseases to us. In fact, they are old as the other diseases. I will give you one example. This is not, a, not only the example, but it is a one of the suggestion to all of you to learn the homeopathic understanding, perceiving of the disease. I am not saying patient, I am saying disease. To learn about the disease, there is a one subject we call paleopathology. Paleopathology. This paleopathology will help you to learn the development of the diseases, evolution of the diseases. For example, I will give you, today is very new disease and now going to become very common is ankylosing spondylosis, very troublesome. Once upon a time, it was not found in the surface. Before, before this once upon a time, especially at the time of the Alexander and the post-Alexander study of their soldiers, pathology have a witness that the graveyard shows the most of the soldiers of Alexander 
are the sufferer of the ankylosing spondylitis. This new disease with the help of paleopathology we learn that this is one of the oldest disease. So there is a no disease we can claim that new one. All they are old, once upon time they have, they gradually vanish and again come back. Now, this, now the reason is that why these uh, diseases are vanishing, developing. My humble request to all of you, please go through the different edition of Harrison. This book shows you that diseases are sometimes very dominating, gradually they are losing and some new diseases are going to be developed. Therefore, in my understanding of the development of the diseases is the environment. Every causative factor are present, but environments are not helpful. When the environment is going to become helpful, then disease is going to be dominating. Then again environment is gradually, gradually going to be lost. The disease is going to be lost their gravity. This is my simple understanding which I show to you. It is if possible, you please go through the books, learn from your own side, then you understand that the development of the diseases has got their certain important evolutions. By this understanding, we hope that we have got maturity in our mind, we have got belief that our homeopathic materia medica is not a simple and vomiting of the patient as a prover in the time of the proving. Every symptom has got their own value, own background, own evolutionary development with the mutual understanding of their own personality as well as human personality, making a third personality. And this third personality is our homeopathic material medica. As pure, as useful to me, as useful to us, as amalgamated, as polluted, as polluted to us and result is polluted. As pure, as result is pure. Therefore, the conclusion in our mind that as much as possible we try to learn belief on those materia medica, those who are found in it. This is the background of remedy which I discussed, like to discuss you. Few cases, this remaining part. Before starting this case, I will give you suggestion. How to study the patient? Dr. Amit asked me, just watch this patient that so rich our uh, NIH OPD and very limited time, how we will see the cases? Really, three to five hundred cases per day, every cubicle has got sometimes three hundred, limited time, three to four hours. With 16 or 18 PG postgraduate training, very difficult. Difficult on the basis of justification of the prescription. That is the important factor. What is my view and attitude to learn the patient? First, I watch how patient appear, their facial expression and the whole body expression. Then they sit to each PGT and after the final case taking they bring to me. During this period, 
I am watching every patient working with the PGT. Very keen observation and uh, after appearing to me, I decide very frequently, very sharply, in a, within a few minutes, sometimes second, my medicine.